Ever since the launch of the Mahindra XUV 500 in 2011, it has been a popular choice for SUV buyers in the 11 to 16 lakh price segment. So much that in less than three years, it had already crossed the 1 lakh sales milestone. But sales of this premium SUV offering have been dwindling off late. And Mahindra thought it was just the right time for them to give it a makeover. So, how different is the new age XUV 500 really? In this new avatar, the boffins at Mahindra have once again worked their magic and given the XUV a menacing look. Up front, it has a grille similar to the one on the Scorpio and to give it good company are those reprofiled headlights with distinct S-shaped LED guide lights. Also new is a bolder bonnet with rounded corners and fewer creases and the remolded front bumper which houses the L-shaped fog lamps. The only change to the profile is a chrome strip at the edge of the glass house and the sporty looking alloy wheels. Completing the exterior design update is a bolder chrome garnish above the registration plate at the back. Step inside the new XUV and you're welcomed by a sea of change. The first thing you notice is the improvement in the overall build quality. The new black and beige interior doesn't look tacky like before. The silver accents on the center console have now been replaced by matte grey ones. The same treatment has been continued onto the gear knob as well. We weren't too fond of the old XUV's red backlit instrumentation, but thankfully Mahindra has given it the boot and replaced it with a cool blue. The seats are wide and supportive and in this top of the line variant come with leather upholstery. Overall, it looks a lot more premium than before. A job well done, we must say. The outgoing XUV2 came fairly well equipped and this one here comes even more heavily loaded. Aside from the standard steering mounted controls, touchscreen infotainment system with Bluetooth, aux and USB connectivity, this one also gets button start, keyless entry and start stop technology. It also gets the much needed reversing camera. And then of course there is the navigation system and the electronically adjustable driver seat. With respect to safety, from ABS, airbags and ESP, the new age XV500 gets it all. Since it's a facelift, Mahindra has retained the same 4-cylinder 2.2-litre MHOC engine from the older version. But Mahindra has now shortened the final drive and tweaked the ECU so that it feels a lot more smoother. There's barely any noise from the engine and unlike most SUVs in its class, there's absolutely no turbo lag. There's ample of power and torque coming lower down the rev range which makes it very quick on its heels. The 6-speed gearbox doesn't quite do justice to the engine and it feels a little rubbery, especially at lower speeds. For increased stability around a series of bends, Mahindra has stiffened the suspension in this new age XUV. The body roll is a lot less now, which inspires you to push this new age XUV a lot harder than you would have on the older version. Interestingly, the stiffer springs haven't really upset the overall ride quality and it rides over potholes really well. The steering weighs about right but could have been more direct. Thanks to the brake energy regenerator, the efficiency of the new age XUV has now gone up to 16 kmpl from the previous 15.1 kmpl. The new age Mahindra XUV starts at Rs 11.21 lakh while its top end trim has been priced at 15.99 lakh. Is it worth buying then? Well, we sure think so. The XUV 500 not only looks new age but feels premium too. It drives a lot better and boasts of a better fuel economy figure as well. The gearbox is the only chink in its armour which leaves a little scope for improvement. But that aside, in this new age XUV 500, Mahindra has set the right example for any manufacturer planning to bring a facelift. For a detailed review and more news, videos and reviews, do log on to zigwheels.com.